With the recent furor over sexual assaults on college campuses, Rolling Stone thought it had a bombshell, a shocking story of rape and a school in utter denial about its culture of sexual violence. But now the magazine wishes it had handled the story a little differently. Rolling Stone writer Sabrina Rubin Erderly tells the story of Jackie, a University of Virginia freshman who recounts being brutally gang raped by nine other students at a frat house and her struggle with apathetic school officials afterwards. The article caused an uproar. A major American university tonight has a lot to answer for. The school has suspended all Greek life until January. As the president responds to calls for a criminal investigation. But Rolling Stone appears to have left quite a few stones unturned. How could students accused of such shocking depravity be allowed to remain on campus? And did Sabrina Rubin Erderly actually talk with the accused? On that question, she was evasive. Uh, yeah, I, I reached out to um, I reached out to them in multiple ways. It, they were kind of hard to get in touch with because their their contact page was um, was pretty outdated. But now Rolling Stone admits Erderly never contacted the accused upon Jackie's request, and that, based on new information, we have come to the conclusion that our trust in Jackie was misplaced. Left unsaid, a disaster for all involved. So where did Rolling Stone go wrong? Here to hash it out are John Keller of WBZ, Kara Miller of WGBH News, Callie Crossley, also of WGBH News, and Dan Kennedy of Northeastern University. First of all, I, I give Rolling Stone credit for getting out in, in front of this. We were actually going to do this story today regardless of this, because we were asking questions about whether um, Erderly had actually done enough when it came to trying to find out who the attackers were. However, I'm a little bit concerned about the wording of this editor's note because they say that Jackie's story doesn't quite add up, but neither did Erderly's. I mean, she claims, as you saw in that interview, that she did reach out the attackers. As of today, she's admitting she never did because Jackie asked her not to. So they didn't really turn the tables on their own writer, but they did on Jackie. They put doubt, cast dispersions on her version of the, of the events, but not so much the writer, who, in my opinion, was more responsible. Well, I think there'll be more editor's notes to come. You I do? Mean, this, is, this is still <laughs> unfolding as we speak. I mean, this really has turned out to be a, a shocking hmm. story. Uh, as you said, when we were first talking about doing this, it was simply, you know, why didn't the writer make a a better effort to to get to talk to the people who had been accused of rape and and now it's just much worse than that we're we're talking about possible fabrication uh, we're talking about more information coming out of the fraternity uh, even as we're taping this uh, saying that um, these people don't exist uh, nothing like this happened uh, you know because we should say that this, the account was that it was an organized planned event that she was lured into this fraternity house raped by nine people and they were all in on it it was a planned event absolutely which is pretty shocking absolutely and and I'll just close by saying you know none of this is to minimize the very mm -hmm. real problem of sexual assault on campus but this incident yeah. is really under question yeah I think that you sort of got two issues here and one is the veracity of Jackie story, the, the woman who claimed she was gang raped. And then you have the culture at UVA and, and then sort of uh, cascading out from that other schools. I worry a little bit that the second part is going to be so eclipsed by is Jack, who is Jackie and, and is she going to come forward and, and do these people really exist who raped her that we're going to, we might completely sort of that swallow up the other part of is there a culture on UVA's campus? And there, there's other people who've spoken to the fact that there is, uh, besides Jackie. Mm -hmm. um, in, in terms of what Sabrina uh, um, Erderly did, I, I think that uh, Rolling Stone didn't do nearly enough fact yeah. checking. I mean, they said that they fact checked her. Well, how can you fact check something that's first person and not go around to some other people who were there and say, is this how you remember it? Go to friends, go to people who are not necessarily on her side, all sorts of people. Uh, this doesn't seem like a real good fact-checking job to me. Well, I, I don't even think it's about fact-checking. It's just about the basic principle of journalism. If you have talked to Jackie and gotten her story, then you have to 
as the writer of that piece. At first when I heard it, I thought, well, were they asking Jackie to reach out? No, that's not going to happen. I understand that. But we're talking about a writer who is ostensibly a third party, party here, who is to step back and take some objectivity in telling the story. It is incumbent upon her to try to reach those people whom mm -hmm. uh, Jackie says um, uh, did this uh, crime to her. Now here's the thing that I, I want to be very careful about, because other people have said there is a culture at UVA. Uh, there are 85 campuses right now uh, in a legal situation with the federal government because they have not responded to students who have come forward to say, this has happened to me. And uh, the core of many of those complaints is that those accusers are still on campus with the women who have been assaulted. So those things exist. Now, to Dan's point, it's possible knowing that that exists as a core in some of these other cases to fabricate something from that into a plausible story. So it makes sense to people mm -hmm. who hear it, who've been covering this, all right, well, these are some of the details we've heard before. But we can never be uh, allowed that the writer yeah. does not reach out. She might not. She might have put her skepticism aside because of that. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think there's a broader journalistic issue here that goes beyond UVA and goes beyond rape culture. Uh, with all due apologies to your atheist viewers, Emily, I believe that God gave us brains, and she did it for a reason. She wanted <laughs> us to be able to think, and thinking. Any thinking person, in my view, wants the truth, not a fairy tale, not lies. And when journalists, as Richard Bradley, the editor of Worth magazine, whose blog item was sort of the first public skepticism about this Rolling Stone story, put it, when journalists, editors, reporters come to a story with a preconceived mm -hmm. bias, a pre-established narrative, and just look for facts that they can jam into it that will justify it. They're making a sham out of the journalistic process. It looks to me like that's what happened here. I agree and share your concern that this is going to do damage uh, to the cause of women being listened to and uh, when they come forward with stories like this, but it's but, going to do terrible damage. But this isn't just a piecing together of facts into something that the author saw, thought made sense coherently. This is a, the narrative, a very powerful narrative of one person. I mean, it is either true to a large degree, or yeah. it is not. Right. That's right. right. Well, she didn't care, though, whether it was true or not. She didn't care enough to verify it. Or, 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 the, 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 writer. the writer. That's yeah. what I'm getting well, at. Well, yes. they're blaming the victim here, yes. assuming no, she yes. is, instead yeah. of the writer. Right. The, well, yeah. there's also been some reporting suggesting that the writer risked losing the story if she reached out to, to the other. Now, sounds that's like not the, an excuse. Sounds like the Bill but, Cosby episode. No, but, <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. but she would have to say right up front, listen, I'm going to have to. Yeah, that's yeah. part exactly. of the job. That was know? bad. Yeah. All right. I, I hope you're right, Dan. I hope there's more to come on this.